Welcome, friends. Welcome back to the kitchen. Um, pretty much every summer since we started this channel, we have done a series of ice cream recipes because summertime, it's hot, it's Canada, you want to have ice cream. This summer is going to be no different. So summer 2022, we're going to do another bunch of uh, ice cream recipes. Now, here's the deal. Every time we do an ice cream recipe with one of the ice cream machines that we own, people say in the comments, I don't want to buy the ice cream machine. How do I make it without buying this machine? And so we're going to concentrate this time around on ice cream recipes that don't require an ice cream machine. No churn ice cream recipes. So you start out with 35% whipping cream. And I've got two and a half cups, almost three cups here. Today we're going to do almost three cups. And you don't have to be too finicky with that number. Um, the recipes that I use are anywhere between two and three cups. In that range, the ice cream is going to be fantastic. The key to this is, of course, condensed milk provides everything that we need to make this sweet and to keep the crystals from forming. We're going to come back and we're going to talk about that later. First, we need to whip the whipping cream. Now you want to whip the cream until it's almost stiff. I sort of stop part way, and this is something that you're going to learn by doing it over and over and over again, what that part way is. But I sort of stop it part way and then do the next couple of additions. The next addition is this chocolate liqueur. I'm going to make a chocolate chocolate chip uh, ice cream today. So. This chocolate liqueur, and I'm going to put in about three tablespoons. Now, there's a bunch of things going on here that make this a rich, creamy ice cream. Uh, the first thing is we're using high-fat cream, and we're whipping it, which is adding a lot of air. And that air um, keeps it from freezing really dense and hard. The next thing is we're adding this liqueur. So the liqueur is adding both flavor and a little bit of alcohol. So this is... 17% uh, alcohol by volume, so not very high alcohol, uh, just enough that again, the alcohol slows down the formation of ice crystals. You want to prevent ice crystals. You could put in just vanilla if you want. Um, I would put in maybe a tablespoon of vanilla, but vanilla is 40% alcohol, so you're essentially putting in the same amount of alcohol if you think that you're avoiding alcohol by putting in vanilla, you're actually putting in the same amount. The next thing is this uh, condensed milk. And the condensed milk uh, raises the amount of milk protein without adding water, and it adds an invert sugar, since pretty much every condensed milk today uses an invert sugar. And that invert sugar, again, prevents the formation of ice crystals. Now. Let's get this straight. I know that I've said this a million times in the past, um, but I'm going to say it one more time, and I'll probably say it again and again and again and again. If you live in Canada or the United States, and the can says condensed milk, it must contain sugar, whether it says sweetened or not. In order to say condensed milk under federal law, it has to have sugar in it. If the can says evaporated milk, it cannot have sugar in it. It's not allowed if they want to put evaporated milk on the label. That's regulated. So, sweetened in conjunction with condensed before the word milk is redundant. I mean, it's been on the market since 1856. You'd think by 2022, we'd have sorted that out. Now, just go back in with the beater, and I beat all that together. Super simple. Get it really nice and homogenized. Doesn't take much. We're pretty much there. So, out come the beaters. Um, and you know. Mm. Great flavor. Okay. 
Now, in the freezer, I have a dish that's frozen and cold. And I think chilling the dish ahead of time, uh, especially if it's glass, is pretty important. It gives you a head start when you get it into the freezer. Now, I've got some chocolate chips, and I've just roughly chopped these up. Um, so there's little bits, and there's bigger bits, and there's all kinds of different bits. I think that I like it that way anyway. That's one of the reasons I do it. I like it that way. I don't always like to get a giant frozen chocolate chip in my mouth. Maybe little bits and pieces and every once in a while getting a big one is uh, is great. So we just mix those in and then into the dish. And that's it. You've made ice cream. You have made ice cream. It is so easy. You don't need an electric beater. You could do this with a whisk and a little bit of patience, but you could do this with a whisk, any bowl, as long as you've got a freezer, you're golden. So, into the glass container. I'm gonna put a lid on it. I'm gonna stick it back in the freezer and let this freeze for five, six hours, or you could make this in the morning and serve it with dinner. You could make it the night before and eat it for breakfast. It's up to you. Hey Jules. Hey Glenn. Ice cream. Ice cream. So. I do like ice cream. Summer 2022 no churn ice cream extravaganza. Extravaganza? Yes. Good thing I showed up. So I'm starting out with a uh, flavor that's really easy. Okay. And I think we'll just keep trying this, this same ice cream base. Vanilla, I'm assuming? Yep. And so, nope, this is chocolate chip. Chocolate, oh, chocolate chip. Okay, but... So it's a no-churn okay. vanilla kind of base, but there's no vanilla in it. But vanilla's the most popular ice cream. Yeah. Like... Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hmm. So for a no churn ice cream, the it's texture's got a pretty decent test. Texture's so really good. It's got tongue tied. It's got it's got a pretty it's frozen. decent texture. Yes. <laughs> you put more chocolate chips in it. it mm -hmm. <clears throat> I often find that when you mix stuff in, you think you've got enough. And then you put it in by the time you're eating it, it's like, well, there's not enough chocolate chips. Where are the chocolate chips? Although you can go terribly wrong with too many chocolate chips in a cookie. It, well, yeah, you can. Where but, it just becomes a mushy mess. But I don't know if in an ice cream that's a Maybe problem. Maybe not, no. no. Maybe not. It's, uh, no, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. No special equipment, no fancy ingredients, super easy to make. All you need really is a bowl and a freezer. And you can add, a little extra flavor if you like other yeah. things, like yeah. a little mint flavor, a little yeah. mint bits. So, come on back and we're going to make a whole bunch of these and let us know what flavors down in the comments maybe you'd like to mm. see. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.